Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you everyone. Commissioner Steffen, Councilman Steffen's here. Uh, today is a very, very special conversations over pizza. An opportunity for the residents to interact and engage with our local uh, Elgin Police Department officers. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is always very well attended. Uh, what the purpose of this meeting is, and that's to talk about what some of the issues are, some of the concerns, ask questions of the officers, and the officers can inform you and ask questions of you as it relates to uh, crime and safety and the prevention of, of crimes and illicit behaviors that take place on your property here because we always want to do the very best that we can to provide uh, not only quality housing but safe housing. So uh, to that point, uh, we're going to get over to our, our, our rope officer here and, and let him... Uh, Okay, 2015. Wow, time Okay, this, this is your rope officer. I, I told him next time when he take the pictures, pull his sleeve up so that, so that, so that we can see the guns piping. There you go. All right, let me, let me bring the sleeve down here. I don't want to intimidate nobody here. Um, so a few announcements I have is, you know, for Saturday the 28th is going to be our first ALICE training at the police department. So ALICE training is a, a just a way or more tools on uh, how to act when there's an active shooter or an active threat in the workplace, in the building, at the store, just like, it, you know, has been happening around the, the United States. So if you have a, a, you know, time on the 28th, go ahead and register for it on the website. Uh, if you don't have time this Saturday, there's going to be upcoming ones. Uh, we're going to be, you know, doing it in Spanish as well. So look look for it. Alice Training at the police department. Also, uh, we have the uh, teens distracted driving. If you have any, uh, you know, family, uh, grandkids, kids, uh, there are teens. It's going to be Thursday, May 3rd. And it's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, that's the, uh, the teens distracted driving. Uh, let them know. Um, one of the things that we've been doing a lot with is, is not just here at the LG House Authority, but around the community is all of our outreach efforts, and we're still doing a ton of that. So if there are ideas that you have as well, if you're at a church or you're part of another group or anything, you want the police to come out, please let us know. We, we never feel like we're doing enough to, to, do, uh, to get the outreach that we need out there. Uh, Councilman Stuff, it's here last night. They had a conversation last night at the council meeting on how do we make sure that the entire community feels heard if they, they feel the police need to be doing something more. We only can do that if we hear about it. So please keep us informed with things like that. And Deputy Chief Wolf, anything you want to add or anything with as far as uh, people involved? No, you know, I think that, you know, the chief kind of summed it up. You know, I, we have a, a, our motto is no call too small. So um, we try to get that out to everybody we can. I know, obviously, you know, Hector is probably your best resource. You know, especially for long, but you know, if, you, if you're not getting a hold of Hector, just call 911, call the non-emergency number 289-2700, and we're always going to be here there to help you. Yeah, okay. what, what I talked about with Monica was uh, the Ren Center. If anybody doesn't know the Ren Center, uh, we can help um, and spread the word to the other residents here if you have an addiction problem. Um, we can help you get help, whether it's alcohol, drugs, whatever it may be. Um, I believe, uh, I was in the hallway, but I believe they talked about the medicine that we keep on us. Um, mm -hmm. Did you guys talk mm -hmm. about that? No. 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 So we keep uh, medicine on us. Uh, we have a, uh, an actual paramedic next to us. He should have took the fire test, but he took the police test. <laughs> um, but we have, uh, it's called Narcan. For anyone that uh, does not know, it's for uh, for. Uh, Hair, heroin or opioid, am I saying this correct, right? Um, and uh, we have been administering it to people. Uh, but if you know of people that are uh, are going through a hard time, uh, we want to help them. We don't want to make arrests. We want to actually help them and get better. And we know that there's an issue in some of these buildings here as well as in our community. So um, if, uh, if they're looking for some help, uh, please reach out to them. Uh, Monica Smith, uh, Deputy Director, or the Assistant Director here, she said Ren Center is also here on staff uh, to help you out. So, um, AID, I'm sorry, AID is on staff here. So, uh, of course, everybody knows me. I'm here and there at all, always. Um, the Chief is leaving, so if he doesn't promote me to a senior patrolman, um, hopefully, uh, Deputy Chief will. <laughs> 
Chief Swoboda, if you, you can come here and have a, a couple of words to say on your behalf and present you with something from the Housing Authority. Um, within the first 60 days of starting this job back in January of 2012, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Chief Jeff Swoboda. Uh, he invited me into his office and we talked. And, um, and, and since that time, whenever I called him, whenever we needed him, no matter how big or how small, it's always there available uh, for us and for the housing authority. So that helped to set the groundwork for a really, really great relationship with the, uh, that the housing authority enjoys with the police department. And I say this all the time, this is not something that uh, that is typical of a relationship with housing authorities and their police department. So I consider us unique and special in that regard. So as indicative of some of the photos that you see scrolling on the television back there, uh, EPD have been involved in, uh, we partnered up on uh, Smiles for Christmas where we've given away hundreds of, there's a, a photo there, we've given away hundreds of bicycles, uh, not only to HAE residents, but throughout the Elgin community over the course of the last six years. Uh, and it's just been a, a number of things. I mean, the officers have taken uh, the youth out for uh, fishing and golfing and, and just, just a number of things. And I'm not going to uh, belabor this, but I just want you to understand um, the, the nature of the relationship and understand why we really appreciate it and we hate to see uh, a chief uh, of, of the, his esteem. Uh, recently there was an incident in Elgin and, uh, and the first thing I'm looking for is how the leadership handles this because as a leader myself, uh, we always want to, to learn and grow from one another and figure out how they handle crisis. So when a crisis comes uh, my way, I can you know, model some of the behaviors that I've seen of other leaders and Chiefs of Boulder, definitely uh, the epitome of a leader, uh, very charismatic and, and upfront and never run away from any issues. So uh, very stand-up guy, we're gonna miss him.